How to get started with the buffer application in this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how we can get started totally for free. So guys, Buffer is an amazing place to manage your content if you are a influencer, if you are a content creator, if you are posting a lot of social media. I mean, this is a really place to help you to track all your content and to, let's say, to run your analytics, engagement, and you can start different pages. So in order to get started, guys, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description so you can get started totally for free. In in my case, what I want to do is to choose an email as well as a passcode. I want to say that I'm not a robot and hitting to sign up. After that, our account now is going to be created. So there's actually three ways that we can get started. Either we can use to analyze our content, we can use to build our starting page, or we can grow our audience to schedule posts to build more audience. So first of all, let's talk about the grow your audience. If I come here into Buffer, what I want to do is to choose the option that says connect to my channels. So here's going to be telling me like what are the channels in which to connect. So I can choose to connect my Pinterest. I can choose to connect my Tesla account, Facebook account, Instagram, Twitter, and much more. And I can see all the elements going to appear into my actual elements here. So I can see how many people are watching my videos, how I can I grow my analytics and much more. If you don't want to focus in here, you don't have to worry about that. Just hit into connect later, explore first. So this one is going to be sending us into the publish section so we can track all our content here, our catalog and our campaigns. Now, the next thing we want to do is to look out for the engagement part. Now, the engagement part is going to be helping you once again to track more our followers and convert your followers into fans. So if you want to start a 14 free day trial, you can choose this option and automatically it's going to be just um, starting the actual activation. So trial activated time to explore. So I'm going to hit into let's go. And as you can see, the subscription gave me the team plan trial of 14 days left so I can track my actual subscription and I can see all my content now into the engagement part, which in my case is not appearing anymore. So after you connected your account, your social account, you're going to be appearing here, all your content and of course, all this stuff that you need to like take in mind into the engagement tools. Let's say, for example, that I have this post and I need people to see how many people are engaged with next post. So there are no comments here. So, so now I can move on into the start page. Now here into this top page, there's a starting template where I can just look out for some that can be more accurate depending on what is the actual niche that I have available into my actual website. For example, I'm going to go and look out for this one and let's say your page name. So I want to go into my content. This is just an example. I'm going to hit into next and then it's going to be telling you to start with your landing page. So this landing page is going to be helping you to have like the most feature stuffed into your own content and you can let people just start to check it out uh, all your social medias, all your websites, your videos, your new content, your feeds, and much more. So here with this, your site layout, I can change my profile image, I can change my social links. As you can see here are all the links, uh, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, as well as Twitter. And if you don't want to use any of those, you can just delete those like this. And you can even add more if you want to, let's say for example, add social link. And I have all of this one already been added automatically. And I can go back into the edit social link and I can move up now into all the buttons that I have available. For example, here which says my shop, this one is going to be sending us into this section. So if I want to send them into somewhere else, let's say for example that I want to choose Amazon. This is just an example, guys, so you can see that this is actually working. I'm going to hit into the edit link, hit into publish changes. And now it's going to be asking you to create a business name. So here, what you want to do is to type for, let's say, for example, tech.star.paste. I mean, this one has been already been, why don't you just look for a new one and then hit into published. Now, what I want to do is just to make a quick test so you can see how this actually working. So I'm going to go into copy the page. I'm going to open this into a new tab like this. And there we go. So as you can see, this is our actual landing page that we have just created. Now I changed this shop linked into Amazon. So I'm going to click here. And as you can see, this one sent me automatically into Amazon. So this is totally uh, working really, really well. So I'm going, to, I'm going to hit into the X mark and then I can start to edit this stuff as I am just starting to add more and more and more content. So we have images, we have the text buttons and we can do some more. After you finish that, what you can do is to use this link so you can display that into your Instagram account, into all your socials. 
as you want it to. Now let's go into publishing. Here into the publishing, I believe like this, like the strongest uh, stuff that you can see here into Buffer. So you can start to plan all your content. So as you can see, it says today. And here as you can see, there's a lot of actual uh, poses and times that appears depending on the actual content that you have just added. So for example, here, if I want to start creating a post to 551, I'm going to hit into schedule a post. And it's going to be popping up this new section where I need to drag and drop my content. I can use and decide it with Canva if I wanted to. I have the first comment, the shop grid linked if you want to add that, the location and the schedule date. So once again, this schedule date is going to be customized depending on what are, are the actual followers and how people are just start to engage with your content. So the actual application is going to be helping you to track like the best times for you to post this content. What I want to do is to look out for the calendar. This is another place where we can start to track all our content. So I can go, let's say for example, back where it says today, today, today. And as you can see, here's all our action content that we have just posted. And I'm going to hit into monthly. So you can track all the content that you had post through the year, through the month and much more. So let's say for example, that I want to post every three times a week. So I need to post more here and most of the, and lastly here into your analytics, here's going to be appearing how many channels you have here available. And as you have here, your audience is going to be appearing the totals. For example, this is the amount of people that has been reached into my account, the total impressions, the total engagement, and the looking to success as social, which I think this is really helpful if you want to like engagement through Buffer. So Buffer is going to be helping you to track all of that. And you can see how many followers you have, the impressions, the engagement rate, and much more. So in my case here, I have the channels. I have the Facebook as well. I have the Instagram. I have my Twitter. I have the LinkedIn and I have the Shopify. So if you want to add more than one, you want to choose, let's say, for example, Facebook, you want to connect that Facebook account into your actual account. So I'm going to head back into my analytics. And as you can see, I have all the sections where I can just merge all my actual engagement through different profiles. So I can go into Facebook, I can go into Instagram, I can go into Twitter, and I can look that for more. So all the actual performance is going to be appearing in here. And this is the way that I can just track my post, my audience, I can track answers that I haven't just um, added yet. And I can see the engagement rate through the days, which I think is really, really helpful, because I don't see see this into somewhere else, for example, into Meta Business Suit, into some other places, but here in the buffer, I can see all of the actual posts, the overview, and much more. So with that being said, guys, this is how we can get started into Buffer. As you can see, it's really, really helpful. So I can track uh, publishing, I can track analytics, I can track engagement, I can track more ideas. And even we can create an actual uh, hyperlink so you can add this later into your profile. You can track more and more content as you are like growing here into Buffer. So if you want to check it out, all the plans and tools, you can go here into your account, go for account, and then what you want to do is to track all the billing section. You can start a subscription, and this is actually the price, which I think is like really really useful for you but with that being said guys we have not reached the very end of the video but don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff about buffer or you want to see like more places where you can track all your content ideas inside audience and followers and much more so thank you so much for watching the video guys see you on the next video